They're totally back, guys. Let's talk about it. Man, Fantastic Four. So I picked up this cover, amongst other covers, but uh, because it's sweet, man. Look at that double page, front and back. It's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm actually not gonna spoil much for this. Uh, I think you should go out and get it. It's actually quite good. Um, now, I wanna preface this with, this is my, Truly my introduction to the Fantastic Four. Um, all I know about them is a few old comics that I've, I've managed to read um, and <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> so I never read the Fantastic Four. It was kind of before my time. Um, but over the years, uh, I, I've tangentially fallen kind of in love with the idea of the Fantastic Four. And... Um, I had the wonderful privilege of working on that really, really uh, poorly executed um, recent reboot, um, which is something, an experience I'll talk about, because uh, when, when working on it, uh, there was a lot of ambitious ideas that uh, we were playing around with in production, and uh, it just, it, it ultimately failed, as, as happened sometimes in the film industry, but... Uh, I think it would be something that you guys would like to hear, maybe a little story of. So maybe when I get back from vacation, I'll tell you about that. I'll tell you about that experience. Give you a little bit of insight behind the scenes. Um, but that's my introduction to the Fantastic Four. Uh, is working on it, having to research it for that film. Um, and, and now this book. And... As a first time, I'm going to say a person being introduced to the Fantastic Four. One, uh, the art is absolutely beautiful. I, I, I won't spoil, and I'm not going to go too much into it. Um, there are a couple stories. Uh, does this say there's three stories in here? I only saw two. Uh, there's a main story that takes up the majority of the book, and then there's a short, short story that I read. I didn't see the third one. Hmm. Oh, is it this? Yeah, I didn't read that. Um, I mostly read the, the main story um, by Dan Slott and Sarah Pacelli, and I read the other one. And you know what, guys? It almost made me tear up. It, it almost made me tear up. It is, it is a beautiful story about family uh, and, and about uh, dealing with loss and trying to retain hope. And, uh, like I said, the art is really beautiful. The writing is really good, actually. Uh, Dan Slott does an amazing job in this book. Some would say a fantastic job. He does a fantastic job. And it, this, is, this, is a, this is a big recommend for me. Um, that's it. I'm not going to show you anymore. I, I recommend this book. It's actually... Really good. I was highly skeptical, but I was hoping it would be good, and I, I, I I'm, I'm pleased. I'm really pleased. I, it, man, it, it, it's an emotional book in some ways, but it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's actually beautiful. It's really good. Um, go out and get it. I think you're really gonna like this. I, I, I now granted, I don't know. I'd be interested to hear from a longtime Fantastic Four fans what they think about it. Uh, but as somebody who, uh, this is probably my first major introduction outside of a, a other medium. Um, this sounds like what it's supposed to be. I could be wrong. Again, I don't, I didn't grow up with the Fantastic Four. But uh, it, I all I can say is I really enjoyed this book. I really did. Uh, the second story is not as good as, as the main story. Um, I don't think. And I'm really curious at how it fits in. It's not bad. It's just not as good. Because the first story is, I thought, really 
a really great character uh, story about the family. So, uh, yeah, go pick it up. I, I think you'll, you'll be uh, fantastically pleased. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Like the video, subscribe, share, it helps grow the channel. And uh, please comment down, if you, if you are a Fantastic Four fan for a long time, comment down after you've read the book um, and let me know what you think. Is, is this on par like I think it is? Or uh, am I completely wrong as a new, a new reader? Uh, let me know. I appreciate all of you. Hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.